Good day, and welcome to another on-demand education module. In this five-minute module, we will introduce the latest index performance report. This report explores the performance of each of the NACREF fund and property level indices. In this tool, NACREF Analytics collects all the indices into one location for easy analysis and reporting. The report will open with the default set to use the NFI Odyssey as the benchmark compared to several additional indices. However, the NPI and other benchmarks are available. In addition to the benchmark, you may select up to six more additional indices for comparison. The first release comes with 17 indices. The first four are NACRE fund indices and includes the Odyssey Fund Index, the Open-Ended Fund Index, SIVA, or the Closed End Value Added Index, and the Daily Priced Index. Also included are four unlevered property indices, the NPI, the NPI Odyssey, which contains only properties in both the NPI and Odyssey at their ownership share, the farmland and timberland property indices. By applying the reported property level debt service back to these data sets, we have created a few synthetic indices the levered NPI, the levered only NPI, which are only the levered properties in the NPI, and the levered NPI Odyssey, which contains only Odyssey properties and their associated debt service, and the levered only NPI Odyssey, which are only the levered properties in the NPI Odyssey. Five additional indices are also included, the 90-day T-bill, which is the risk-free rate, the Consumer Price Index, the NARI Equity Index, the S&P 500, and the Russell 3000 indices. Once you have selected the indices for comparison and the term for risk analysis, select Update for the tool to refresh with the selected data set. The Summary Statistics table computes the geometric total returns for the current quarter and the 1 through 35 year periods. The table is also shown graphically in the bar chart below. Whereas the summary statistics table are all geometric averages, the risk section uses annual returns to compute the simple or arithmetic average return, the standard deviation and the correlations of the annual returns. Next, alpha and beta are computed using simple linear regression analysis comparing the index in excess of the risk-free rate to the benchmark in excess of the risk-free rate. Beta, or the slope of the regression, measures the relative sensitivity of the index to the benchmark. Jensen's alpha, or the y-intercept of the regression, takes beta into consideration in its computation of its risk-adjusted performance. Also computed are two similar ratios, the SHARP and the information ratios. The SHARP ratio is computed as the excess of the risk-free rate and the information ratio is in excess of the benchmark. Both ratios are divided by the standard deviation of their excess performance. Lastly, three indicators of the size of each index are shown. The sample count contains the average number of properties or funds in the index, the value is shown in thousands of dollars as well as the relative percentage of the index to the benchmark. To learn more about the methodologies of these statistics, please refer to the information in the glossary available in the knowledge base. Let's turn back to the report. The next two charts are scatter plots. The left chart displays the long-term relationship of risk and return. The total risk or the standard deviation of annual returns is plotted on the x-axis and the annual average total return is plotted on the y-axis. The line represents a security markets line which shows the risk adjusted ratio between the risk free rate and the benchmark. In this example we see NARIT's higher return is offset by higher historical volatility. The second scatter plot is the performance momentum chart. 
This chart compares the past three-year performance to the most recent one-year performance. In this chart, we can see the S&P in green improving with NARI in red slipping. The next two graphics are line charts. The left chart displays the long-term horizon using rolling annual returns, and the right chart shows the past two years of quarterly performance. Future versions of this report will go into much more depth about each index. Stay tuned for more information. This wraps up NACREF's on-demand education module. If you have any suggestions or questions, please ask the question to the knowledge base or call the staff at NACREF. Thank you.